Okay, um, now the most boring talk ever <laughs> at Def Jam. Not big stuff to demo, nothing to show. Just having a German sitting about documentation. Awesome. Um, we had <laughs> we had basically two topics uh, we tried to cover uh, to uh, improve our documentation during Def Jam. So basically, where we started, uh, we noticed. Um, We have some prob uh, problems with our user base uh, using user guide and administration guide. On the left side is the user guide, on the right side the administration guide. People were confused where to put in documentation, where to find something, so they tried to kill each other and burn down neighbor houses and all that crazy <laughs> stuff, so we decided to change it. Um, so basically what I did uh, this week, we put everything on the left side to the right side, which was e really easy. Um, we run in one problem with our RPM packages, but we try to fix that, so that's not a big deal. So everything in the user guide is now gone, and it's now in the administration guide. Uh, we don't know yet if the administration guide is a good name for a guide. <laughs> so um, we're figuring out if we find a better term uh, which um, represents it. Um, Other than that, we would like to change it to a more um, task-driven guide so that it really explains how to achieve uh, a certain goal and uh, just give you step-by-step -step things and explains a little bit more um, yeah, how to, to get stuff done. Um, and uh, beside that, we uh, moved basically every uh, complex uh, or yeah, which made the navigation really complex like all the monitors we have, all the collectors we have, that clutters really the navigation, we remove that into a reference document. So what we basically now have is a reference document, which shows just as a collection, this is all the service monitors, these are all the collectors, these are all our notification strategies, and we can use that as a reference in other documents as well. So if you would like to write a how-to thingy, Uh, how to create a ticketing integration, then you can say, and by the way, here are all other ticketing adapters we have. Just look at the specific implementations and follow that piece of instruction. Um, that makes it also easier for the people who are really uh, a little bit more familiar with OpenMS, so they don't uh, need uh, the specific tasks, how to add a polar. They just can go into the reference guide and say, okay, here, this is all the possibilities I have, add the polar and done. Um, and for uh, the developers, it's also a little bit easier because they just have to add one page in the reference guide and then they don't do it, take the care about how to get a monitor s to set up. Um, that is basically uh, the main goal for this week. Um, what is on our to-do list? Uh, we have, uh, I think Ron started to ref uh, refactoring our installation guide. Um, the previous one was more like, a, um, we have to jump a little bit around because it was more um, um, uh, structured for um, how to install um, Oracle JDK on Windows Debian Red Hat, how to install RD tool on Debian Windows Red Hat. So if you would like, uh, if you have installed one system, it was really hard to follow just one, one flow. So he refactored that uh, as well. Um, so... That's pretty much it, and that was my talk. <laughs> I would have a question. So I'm looking at like under data collectors there, obviously they're not all there. Right. I was wondering if we just put a placeholder there, but it's a different color or something, and people would know, oh, we haven't documented that yet, but it exists. <laughs> but it exists, and somebody could quickly say, oh, I can contribute some documentation. Right, that is what uh, Alejandro started. He uh, went basically a little bit into uh, our Jira and also he knows a lot about uh, what it is in OpenMS. He tries to figure out the blind spots which is missing and um, we made pretty good uh, experience with the Polo. So we created a Jira epic and created for every Polo we had basically a task to document it. And uh, so we could basically keep track about what is missing uh, on documentation in, in Jira. Um, I think having a hook which points to, to that Jira epic about what are the blind spots in our documentation help us out to fill the gaps, that could be a, an yeah, interesting idea, definitely. Well, I'm kind of thinking along the same way of being able to add 
advertise that there's another feature that's just not documented. Yet. Yeah. Yeah, I th think that this we call in German a sword with two a sword with two blades, because then. It's a different community, right? I mean, yeah. Developers or maintainers right. of the project, we're going to look at here, but somebody who's trying to install right. probably wouldn't go there, maybe look at docs and not realize that there are features that are not done. And you can offer internet points for submitting documentation that can be redeemed. Achievements, uh, yay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that idea, definitely. Other questions? Craig? Um, I know there was, there was some talk, maybe Jessica went over this, but uh, <coughs> is there any concept of sort of uh, documenting a large, medium, and small installation where you've got you know, uh, like all of these you know, clustered large environments versus, you know, just get going? Yeah, uh, we um, focused right now to um, just having a kind of a, how we would like to have OpenMS installed in a really minimum way right now. So we haven't really uh, focused on what do you do with Elastic, Cassandra, Kafka, Zookeeper, all that stuff that is a whole different topic. <laughs> In my, because it, it gets really complicated. You have to maintain it. Um, every every own project has his own moving parts. Uh, so if that's some we have to find kind of a a way to keep it small enough and big enough <laughs> to make it useful. Yeah, Ben. I assume this resource guide is a new project that I need to add to the documentary plate. That is, yeah, that's uh, what I'm waiting for, Bamboo, to see what happens when we edit it. <laughs> and yeah, file, yeah, we have to edit into our, um, yeah, basically all the documentation which is pushed to GitHub is basically integrated in our Bamboo build system. So it's get also published online on docsopenms.org. And we have to make sure that the reference document uh, pops up in the in that area, yes. So the new structure is only the yeah. Okay. So we keep an archive what we had, so okay. we don't change the past. Didn't break the links. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you.